Hey guys. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick video on the process that it takes to become a real estate agent. And I'm going to make it as simple as I possibly can. So I'm going to jump right into it. And I'm just going to say you need some type of reasoning. You need some type of motivation to do it and to finish it and that goes with anything you need to have a motivation as to why and your passion for why has to be strong enough to get you to the end okay so I'm gonna give y'all an example when I first made up my mind and told myself you know what I'm tired of this I'm, I'm tired of living this life that I'm living you know I'm like I mean, my job is cool and all, but I'm just, I need more. I feel like I need a little bit more so I can have a little bit more, you know? It's always about money. And I try not to make it about money, you know, because I, I'm i trying to get into the process of trusting my universe. And I trust my universe. However, just being real with myself, you know, this is just the reality that we live on this life, on this earth. Um, you need money. So you don't need it, but if you want to live in society, you need money. So I'm like, yeah, I need more time with majesty. I need more time just to do what I feel like doing when I want to do it. I'm tired of waking up in, waking up in the morning to an alarm clock. I'm tired of punching the clock. Um, I'm just tired of getting paid and that being a means to an end. Um, you know, I said, I don't want that to be my reality. So that right there was my main reasoning to becoming a real estate agent, right? So I said, bam, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a real, I'm going to become a real estate agent. Um, I did my research. That's number two. You got to do your research. Depending on the state that you live in, uh, that determines your process of becoming an agent. So like, since I'm here in New York, the process is not difficult. It's not, a, it's not difficult at all. It's as difficult and as challenging as you want it to be right so first you gotta you gotta figure out how you can take those classes where you're gonna take the classes at you have two options in order to start the process of taking your classes you can either go on newyorkrei.com which stands for new york real estate institute.com or you can go on groupon now if you like everybody else that's normal in society you would go on groupon because you know groupon be having the deals right so on, on New York REI, the course, or like the package is like $4.99, some BS, right? It's $4.99. You get a book and you just do classes. There's no deal, right? So like when I went on Groupon, I found a deal that was like maybe $2.79 and that included the book and the classes. So once I found the classes, I had to determine when was the best time to take those classes right so primarily I'm only free in the evening because of my job I work in the morning I'm from free in the evening so I found classes tailored tailored to that schedule um, there's different locations that you can take your classes at but depending on your time and how many how many times they hold the classes during the week that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna you know go for so I wind up taking classes out in Sayasit I took I probably took about, let me see, two evening classes and two daytime classes on my days off in, in, the, in the morning and the evening. So that's four days, four times a week I took the classes. Um, I made sure I was there. You know, I made sure I was there like clockwork and I did that. Um, depending on what time of the year you're taking the classes, they got breaks. Like I took mine during like the springtime, so we had like, uh, we had some long break that we had. I think that was like Easter, Easter vacation or something like that. Easter recess or whatever it was. So they didn't have class for a whole week straight. Fine. It gives you time to study. If you want to study, study. If you don't, don't. Um, okay, now you've started taking the classes and you have to take night, you have to take 20 classes, but you don't have to take all the 20. It depends on you. You can take 18 out of, the, out of the 20 classes before you can take the classroom test because there's two tests. There's a classroom test and there is a state test. 
Now be mindful. With the state test, you don't have to wait. You can take the state test right away. You can take the state test now. You gotta just gotta pay fifteen dollars for it. So you take the state test as many times as you want, but you got to you got to pay fifteen dollars each and every time. So take the test, pass the test, and you got that part out the way. You take this. You take the classroom test. The classroom test I think has seventy five questions, if I'm not mistaken, maybe less. You take that test, knock it out. You could take that test three times. The class test three times, separate times though. Um, you take that, knock it out, and then you be good. You get your license. But be mindful before you get your license, you have to you have to find a brokerage. So while you're taking these classes, or even up until now, before you start the process or whatever, find a brokerage. Where do you want to work? Um, I can't give suggestions, but. You need to know where you want to work at, who you want to work for. That stuff matters it, in the long run. It does because you, you're not able to do real estate without a broker. Uh, licensed real estate agents cannot conduct business without a broker. They're not allowed until you become a broker yourself. Then your commissions are all yours. Um, other than that, that's just the process. Um, it's not a difficult process. And like I said... Your motivation is going to determine how fast you finish your class. Now, I started my class in April, and I want to get my I want to get my um, license in July. I was adamant on fit on starting those classes and finishing it because I had a goal, and that was to get my license. So I did it, and I knocked it out. I dedicated myself. You got to dedicate yourself to these goals. You got to dedicate yourself to life and and um uh excelling in life moving up elevating yourself in life you have to it's imperative because you're gonna be stuck and stagnant and you don't want to be stuck and stagnant so that's pretty much the whole process to becoming a real estate agent is not difficult and the state of new york is not difficult the test is 15 dollars. you got to worry about the test that's 15 dollars. you have to worry about um, the class test that's free, but you got to study if you want to pass it. You have to worry about making it to the class, um, the classes uh, on a daily basis if you can. Some people don't finish. Some people it takes them years to actually finish the classes. It depends on you. But just know that that plays a role. That plays a role. Everything plays a role. And um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. It's not difficult. I took my my. I took my state test twice before I passed it. I took the first one, 123 William Street in the city. And then the second one I took in Franklin Square. I passed the one in Franklin Square. I don't know about how much, but I passed it. And that's all that matters. And now I got my license. So now I am able to do business in, in the state of New York and Long Island. And, you know, that's it. So now it just... That's just a whole nother, a whole nother, um, that's a whole nother, a uh, whole nother video. So this was the process of becoming a real estate agent. If you have questions, feel free to drop a comment and let me know and I'll answer your question to the best of my ability if I didn't already answer the question in the video. So, all right, y'all. It's me, it's Z. I'm out.